have adjusted the uh, function generator to create two sine waves. On channel one is a zero degree, uh, zero phase. On channel two is a 90 degree phase, that is 90 degrees out of phase with channel one, both at one kilohertz. And then I've applied that to the Siglent oscilloscope. The reason for this is one of the things that's uh, rather important to, uh, to measure is phase difference. Now, here you see it in the regular uh, XT mode, where, or I guess YT mode, where you display amplitude in the Y direction and time in the X direction. And when doing this, you can, you can do a phase measurement, but it's not very, very accurate. An old time-honored way of doing this with an oscilloscope is called a Lissajous figure. And all it really amounts to is, instead of plotting time on the horizontal, uh, you, you plot the other channel. So channel 1 is plotted on the, uh, in the uh, y direction, and channel 2 is plotted in the uh, x direction. And that looks like this. Now, as the phase, I'm going to drop this by uh, at 10 degrees per. You'll notice that the, the circle becomes an ellipse. And when the two signals are exactly in phase, it becomes a straight line, 45 degrees. Uh, you use phase measurements a lot in stability analysis as well as in certain kinds of communications uh, uh, phase detectors and things of that sort. So I wanted to show the way to do a phase measurement on the Siglent and now I'm going to switch and do some stuff in the next video on the Rigol. Continuing with the acquisition in horizontal uh, on the Rigol, here you see the same uh, in phase, that is zero degree phase difference, one kilohertz signals on channels one and two. And in the Siglent, you get to the XY mode through the acquire button. On the uh, Rigol, you get to it through the horizontal menu button. So if I press the menu, the uh, this comes up, and then if I press the time base, you'll see that it has YT, XY, and roll. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press that once, and you see it switches. Now we'll, we're going to switch to XY. And I'm having to adjust the uh, the position, the X and Y position. Well, I'm having a little trouble with this, so I'm going to uh, I'm going to work on it a little bit, see if I can figure out what's going on. Okay, I'm back. Uh, it turns out I have not used the XY mode on the uh, Rigol before. It turns out there are a few intermediate steps you have to go through to uh, to get this. It's not quite as intuitive as the Siglent, where you just switch on XY mode and it it works. Uh, 
In this, apparently, according to the manual, you have to readjust the uh, the scale, the horizontal uh, sampling rate, it says in the manual, uh, to get uh, a decent waveform. And also, it appears that uh, in the uh, Rigol, you get a split screen when you go into XY mode. That could be an advantage in some cases, but one disadvantage is it means that the XY display is smaller, so therefore a little harder to read or measure. By the way, you can use cursors on this and you can use cursors on the Siglet to, uh, to measure various things. So this is basically the same uh, Rigol display as I was showing on the Siglet. Uh, once again, the problem that I had with the uh, uh, with not understanding how to use the XY mode is another example of why that uh, Rigol's policy of causing the options to uh, be used up whenever you have the scope turned on, the trial options, means that by the time you've learned a lot of the other functions of the oscilloscope and gotten around to checking the uh, some of the more uh, rarely used options, you may not have the trial version anymore, they may have expired. So basically you're, you're learning on your own time, or maybe I should say you're learning on your free trial time, uh, even if you're not using the particular function. So for example, I haven't tried to use the decode functions yet, which I will later, or any of the advanced trigger functions, and yet already the uh, there is less time left on those uh, trials. Uh, at any rate, it's one of those things. I'm not going to harp on it, but it's uh, something that I believe uh, Rigol ought to rethink their options policy uh, and only have the time run off when there's actually a uh, use of, of that uh, trial. Uh, that may be too complicated for them to do in this uh, version, but maybe if they release oscilloscopes in the future, they'll consider uh, letting you learn the option on option time, not on general scope time. So anyway, uh, that's where I'm going to end this one, and then I'm going to uh, move on to the next subject. A very quick uh, addition to the video to uh, just let you know that there are other ways using these scopes to measure things like uh, phase difference and delay and so on. I'm going to save those until I get to the section on measurement because that's where you find them in the scopes. But uh, so lizard two figures are not the only way to measure phase differences and, and so on. Uh, but like I say, that'll come up when I get to measurements.